Hey guys, you got the chimney right. I just happened to be in Butler, PA. This is the old hospital. Uh, it's been under so many different owners. Show you a little shot around. I rebuilt that and everything above that. Did that corner and the bean pockets. I'm doing some interior work. This and this hospital goes back 1800s. This was an arch here. One brick needed to come out of here. Well, as it goes, you drop one brick and all of them came out up to here. So, what I'm going to do today is show you how to lay up an arch. And the first thing we got to do is form for it. This is from the carpenters that were in here, part of the demo. What you do is you set that up. You set that up and if you want to make it out of plywood, that's how you would do this newly. They used plank and old two before here. That was done so long ago though. Once you lay up the curvature of your arch, and I have a divot here, and I put a two before here. And I'm going to show you how to do this next. To lay and if you'll notice, I'm putting these in. I'm going to have to cut that. It kind of jerks me around that I have to do all this extra work because I'm supposed to re replace one brick in the arch. I'm going to have to cut all these bricks to length now. But I'm going to use these all the way around the arch. I'm going to cut these guys to length. And they're going to be, ah, they're going to be held up. And you lay one up against there, and you lay the next one. Okay, I just wanted to show you the first step. You've got to set up your form for the arch. Tomorrow, I've already got the, if you look at this, this was done in white mortar on red brick in 1860. You can't really match that beautiful Dutch Flemish bond in here. Uh, white masonry cement. You're supposed to use white sand with it, but I am not. Because then it'll be bright white. Do not want anything like that. Uh, if I use regular sand and white mortar, it'll be like an eggshell, and maybe that'll throw the hundred some odd years I need on. And about accuracy of work, this was good functional stuff in 1830 or 1860 or however far that goes. Well, anyway, I'm set up to do my work. I'm going to be back here tomorrow. I'm going to lay in this arch. Just really just jerk me around. i got to cut all these bricks and do this stuff. And this is one of these horrible guys that I bumped into, and he don't want to pay nothing. He doesn't have any respect, but... Times are slim for the chimney man, so I'm willing to take on a little extra work. But he treats me like some daggum handyman. And you know what? When you're in a specialty field like chimneys, that's the last thing we are as handymen. We're specialists in the field. I'm going to finish this and the door jam off for him. But I'm washing my hands of this jerk. That's the arch before you lay it up. Tomorrow, we're going to lay it up, and you're going to be part of it. Chimney King later on.